Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Bear with me as I set up. We're using a new device. Welcome to Claire Mornings uh, Yoga. I'm Tammy. Uh, it's been a while. I'm glad to be here. Um, and you'll notice my four-legged friends coming and going. If hopefully that's not too distracting. So today, um, uh, also Happy New Year. This is uh, January 2021. So today I would like to um, offer a couple of different um, modalities, I guess you would call them, of uh, ways of uh, finding comfort within oneself and, um, and ease in our bodies so that we can better be in a place of acceptance as to what's happening uh, around us rather than having the experience of something happening to us or being done to us, uh, a, a way of perhaps integrating, maybe not making sense of, but integrating the feelings that we're feeling in our body from the experiences that are happening outside of us. So with that being said, uh, get your mat. For today, we probably will, um, Maybe use a blanket or a, a big beach towel. Let it be a sturdy blanket so that we can fold it into different depths. There you go, Clyde, thank you. Um, maybe, um, today I'm using a dishcloth. It's a cotton dishcloth from the kitchen and I've just um, pulled it long ways so that we can use it as an extension for our arms um, in lieu of maybe a strap or you could use a necktie, right? Um, and I'm not sure that that's even going to be necessary. I always have a block around in case. However, I can show you ways that the blanket can serve uh, the same as a block. First, I want to uh, introduce you to or have you uh, move a little bit before we try to get still. So come to your mat, about the center of your mat, into child's pose. For those of you that might not know what child's pose is, I'll show you. You bring, come onto your shins, bring your knees out wide, maybe almost as wide as the mat, let your big toes touch. Lower your hips down towards your heels as you reach your fingertips to the top. I call this the top of my mat. And then let your belly and your forehead rest to the floor. If your forehead doesn't meet the floor, you can take your blanket or block and rest it there as well. If this is too much on your knees, let your hips rise a little bit. Press your shins down at first in order to ground into the mat. And now let your elbows rest. And I want you to focus on your breath. Receiving breath in and fully letting it go like an empty. Rock your forehead side to side as if you were massaging your forehead into the mat. This pose of the child is a pose of acceptance, accepting where we're at right now and accepting that this time is set aside for you. And that sometimes is a concept and not an activity, at least I know for me, setting aside time just for you. And now use your breath, like deepen it and make it be a little bit audible, maybe having it come in through your nose, pausing and letting it go out your nose and pausing in the emptiness and using the resonance, the sound of this audible sort of breath to move, let give movement to your thoughts. Yeah. I like to think of it as like the inhale is to receive whatever's going on in your mind and your body without judgment and then letting it go, like letting it move on or letting it integrate. Using the breath in as an, a place of acceptance and the breath out as a place of removal or digestion or integration. So accepting, receiving, and then letting go what's not of service to you now. Stay with that breath for at least five more rounds, seeing if you can extend the length of the inhale, the pause and the exhale with each breath cycle. 
While you're doing that, I'm going to share one of my favorite readings regarding breath. This is from Jacob Lieberman. Breath is an expression of our state of presence. When we are not present, we hold our breath. Our awareness collapses and we feel distant from life. When we are present, our breath fills, our awareness expands, and life breathes us. Breath reflects our inward and outward relationship with life, our acceptance of the new and release of the old. When we are present, there is no break between inhalation and exhalation as we flow seamlessly with life moment by moment. We are all connected and our every thought and intention is expressed in our breathing. Hold your breath and everyone around you holds theirs. Allow life to breathe you and the world breathes easier. On your next inhalation, coming from child's pose, rise up, press into your shins, allow your ankles to extend behind your knees knees right over or under your hips for tabletop and come right into cow cat sort of movement. And you can use your breath to support the movement here too. So I like to inhale, spread my collarbones, drop my belly on the cow and exhale, rounding my back up towards the ceiling or the sky, pressing my shins down for cat and then cow and cat. And wait for it, wait for the need for the inhalation. Pause in the fullness. Wait for the need for the exhalation. Press the backside of your body to the sky. And if you want to get a little more organic, you can roll or snake your spine. So continue that movement for five more rounds of breath. Once you've completed that fifth round, and don't let me rush you, come back and pause in tabletop. A couple of foundational things here. Be sure that you're pressing your knuckles down, spreading your fingers nice and wide to alleviate any pressure on your wrists and kind of to lift up out of your um, shoulders or out of your elbows. Yeah, so there's some length here, but there's also some fluidity, some softness, some gentleness. And then the same thing with the legs, press your shins and the tops of your feet down, even though if your feet don't go flat to the floor to alleviate any undue pressure on your knees. And this again, kind of lifts us, it presses us down into the support of the earth and lifts us up. From here, I want you to extend your right leg back, flexing your foot. So pointing your toes towards the floor and lifting your heel towards the ceiling parallel. So your leg is parallel to the earth. Pause here. And now with your left hand, extend it forward, uh, sh shining your palm up towards the ceiling. Pause here, big breath. On the exhale, bring your elbow in towards your knee without rounding or collapsing. So there's still this strip uh, firmness in your back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more times. Nice and slow. Wait for the breath. And so your elbow and knee might not touch. It's just a, a, a directional cue. And then come back down. Pause. Take a round of cow cats. Neutralize. And then extend your left leg back, toes point towards the floor. Be careful that you're not lifting the leg too high and dumping into your low back. Pull the pit of your belly in and extend your foot towards the wall behind you. Press into your um, right shin and extend your right arm forward, palm raises. Take a big breath out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow towards knee or arm wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Arm and elbow to knee. 
Inhale, lengthen. Keep that integrity two to three more times. Maintain that integrity in your low back. And then come on down, pause. Round of cow path. Come back to that flat back. And this time we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna switch each time. So right leg, left arm reach, elbow to knee and switch. Elbow to knee and switch. Do this with your own breath rhythm. Elbow to knee and switch. And let's do that about five more times each side or you'll do it five more times each side. And then you'll drop back down into child's pose. Be sure to breathe with each movement. Inhale supports the uh, expansion, the length. The exhale uh, supports the squeeze or the integrity of pulling in. And the pause allows you to switch. Keep going, I would say, at least one more time each side. And you'll drop back down into child's pose. Don't let me rush you, we'll catch up. We'll take three to five rounds of breath here in child's pose. Just noticing perhaps this child's pose is slightly different than the first one we took. Now that you've warmed your core and your low back. While you're here, walk your hands over to the right side. Keep your hips low so that you feel some stretch and extension through the whole left side body. And even drop your forehead if you can. On back through center, take it to the other side. And remember, you can keep your hips lifted slightly if this is hard on your knees. And then you'll come back to center. Take your hands and wrap them around to grab to your feet or your heels. From here, you're gonna lift your hips up and for rabbit and pull um, allow the crown of your head to touch down on the earth. And then lower your hips down. Back to child's pose, reach your arms forward. Come right into downward facing dog point here. Press your hands down. Pressing into the knuckles, lift your hips high. Let your heels rest heavy towards the floor. Knees can be bent or you can kind of pedal it out. Take your dog for a walk here. Bending one knee, lengthening one heel and back and forth. Opposite heel drops, opposite knee bends. Take a deep breath in, lift your hips. Exhale, rest your heels. Inhale, breathe in, rest your ribs towards your thighs, breathe out. Look forward to your hands and walk your feet to your hands. Hang here in a forward fold or a rag doll. Maybe grab opposite hand to opposite elbow and let them dangle, waiting, waiting and offering some length. If this is too much on the back of your legs and your hamstrings, then bend your knees, let your ribs rest on your thighs. You'll get a nice compression through your low back. Release your hands to the floor. Bring your big toes to touch. Halfway lift. Press, I like to press my hands right below my knees to lengthen my spine forward. Keep your gaze at the top of your mat or the floor. Forward fold, let the breath out. Inhale, half lift. Broaden through your collarbones. Bring those upper arm bones maybe close to your side. 
forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. All the way up to extended mountain pose. Bring your hands into your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna plant our hands and come down into a, or come to a high plank. And you can modify by dropping your knees. High plank. And then we're gonna drop down to forearm plank. Both forearms come down. And you can still do this on your knees. And we'll take this to a side plank. Stack your heels, reach. This can also be modified with a knee down. If the forearm plank is too much for your shoulders, stay in the high plank. Modification would look like this. And then we're gonna go back to switching. So we're gonna switch to the other side. Remember the modifications. Take your gaze up and then switch. And switch. <laughs> Just adding some warmth to the body. And back to forearm plank. And high plank. Lower all the way down like a low push up and hover. And then all the way to the floor. You'll stack your hands here and rest your forehead, bend your knees, drop your shin side to side. Let your legs rest. Scoop back into child's pose. Up to tabletop. And then you're going to come down onto your seat. And you can face forward to the top of your mat, but I'm going to turn so that you can see me. So here we'll come to a seat, and you might want to take um, your blanket and give a little lift to your tailbone, creating a little bit more comfort here. Yeah. And then settle in. The idea is to allow your knees to soften towards the floor and that to allow your pelvis to be fairly neutral. Reach your arms up. It's like a seated uh, extended mountain. And then you're gonna drop one hand behind. So left hand behind, right hand to knee and wrap your gaze around. Using your hand to the knee as a little bit of leverage to deepen the twist. Drop your left shoulder away from your chin or ear. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Stay there for a full round of breath. Inhale up. Now we'll pause and round forward. And it's okay if the back side of your body rounds now. Drop your head. See if you can stay anchored in your tailbone or in your sits bone. Back up. Arms up. Take it to the twist again. Inhale up. Exhale, twist other side. Pausing for a full round of breath or two. Back to center. This time I want you to, if you're sitting cross-legged, uncross your legs and put the opposite leg in front. Arms up, fold forward. You might feel a little different. Back up. Extend your legs long, and this is where you might want to take your strap or your kitchen towel 
for your um, necktie. Um, and all this does is you keep your knees fairly soft. You might want to remove the, I'm going to remove my lift. My knees are um, fairly soft. Toes are flexed towards my face. And this just gives me a little extension to allow my legs, my arms to seem a little longer. And I can press my feet into the strap or the towel or whatever it is you have. I can press my feet in, extending my heels away from my body and lower down. Belly, chest, chin. If you don't need the strap, then of course you could bring your fingertips to your feet or toes and get some extension there. If you don't have access to a strap and this is not um, a great reach or connection for you, bend your knees up to your chin and make the access there. For five rounds of breath here. Feeling the compression all the way into the backside of your body as your belly fills up and connects to your thigh. So the reason why I have us move first before we settle into some um, meditation type modalities is that it's easier for us to settle or it tends to be easier for us to settle, especially if we're dealing with things that are out of our control once we've moved our bodies just a little bit. So we did a little warm up. On your next inhale, come up to seated or rise and you'll take your blanket, towel or um, pillow if you have one or a bolster and you're gonna roll it. So I have mine folded like in half, several halves. I'm gonna roll it so it can be as thick as possible. And I'm gonna use this as a spine support. And then if you have a block or an additional pillow, you might want that at your side. So you're gonna set this the length of your mat. <clears throat> and then you'll have this handy in case you need it for support with your head. And now I like to bring it right up to my, um, my sacrum, right up to my tailbone and sacrum and lower down on it this way. That way I have a little support for my head because I'm kind of a shorter person. So we're coming into supported Supta Baddha Konasana. So this will also be a gentle heart opener, which I know when we're dealing with things that are out of our control, oftentimes we cower in, we could, protect and close off our heart. And so we're gonna allow for some opening here. Now, if your um, support is not there for your head, oftentimes opening through the throat can be really helpful, but you can go lower down like so. And see for this, for me, this would be great. I got a gentle heart opener, a gentle throat opener, but if that's too intense, too much, feels too vulnerable, then just Give a little support. If you don't have a block or another pillow nearby, you can take your hands, stack them behind you like so. Mm -hmm. All right, so pause and drop in here and I'll guide you through the next step. So first, just follow your breath. Noticing the breath going in and the breath going out. And where you're feeling stimulation or support from the breath and where you're not. And neither is wrong or right. Having this idea of acceptance, this concept of acceptance and embodying it. So accepting breath physically and seeing then too as it has you release and let go, maybe even just a minute or maybe a large amount of support in the simplicity of breath. How long has it been since you took a good deep breath? Sometimes we get busy throughout our day and we forget to breathe. I know I do. Now I want you to change the breath here. Close your eyes and just listen to my voice. What you're going to do is you're gonna breathe in through your mouth. Retain it. And now breathe out your nose. 
Breathe in through your nose, lips are sealed. Breathe out your mouth, don't let me rush you. And now in through your mouth, out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your mouth, out through your nose. And keep that going for three or four more rounds of breath. So nothing to do, simply focusing on your breath. If your back starts to get stiff or uncomfortable or there's a, a heat forming around your tailbone or low back, simply bend your knees and plant your feet on the floor as wide as your mat or wider and let your knees fall in towards one another. Or lengthen your legs. Allow yourself without fidgeting too much to remain as comfortable as possible. If your hands are free and not supporting your head, place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. I usually like to put my right hand on my belly, my left hand on my heart. Observe here the rise and fall of your torso area, belly and heart particularly, as you breathe. The simple reaction to a good strong breath. And you can now allow your breathing rhythm to return to its normal uh, or regular non-manipulated uh, pattern, or you can keep this breath going. And now I'm just gonna guide you through a simple little, it's kind of like a nidra, we've done that before, and we may have done this before, but it, it's, a, it's a mind body awareness. It's an awareness, body physical awareness exercise. Sometimes when we get out of our heads and focus on our bodies, we're able to see glimmers of healing and allow for integration, acceptance, integration. So as you breathe in on your next breath, I want you to send all your awareness to the crown of your head, this space where our hair grows for most of us. There's this sort of energetic resonance just about an inch or so from the very top of our head to this energetic space. Inhale, breathe there, notice. On the exhale, send all your awareness to your toes. Inhale, breathe in, send all your awareness to your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Exhale, send all your awareness to your toes. Inhale, breathe in, send all your awareness to your throat. Exhale, all your awareness to your toes. Next breath in, all the awareness goes to your heart. The exhale pushes all the awareness to your toes. Breathe in again, all your awareness goes to your solar plex, this place right between um, the ribs and below your breastbone. Exhale all the awareness down to your toes. Breathe in again, all your awareness to your belly, sacral area, the hip, top of the hips. Exhale, everything to the toes. In again, all the awareness to your knees. Exhale to your toes. Breathe in, awareness to the ankles. Exhale, toes. And now we'll move back up. Inhale, toes. Exhale, ankles. 
Inhale, toes. Exhale, knees. Inhale, toes. Exhale, belly and everything in that region. Inhale, toes. Exhale, solar plex. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heart. And let's resonate there for a few breaths. So with this slight position of a heart opening, maybe bring both hands to your heart. You can take a mudra here with your fingers interlaced, resting at your heart. Breathing in to lift your into your hands and exhale, letting your hands press down with the ball of your chest. Let's take three more rounds, resonating right here. Inhale, heart, exhale, heart. Inhale, heart. Exhale, heart. If anything comes up emotionally or physically, know that you're in a safe place and that it's okay. This might be your body's way of integrating or um, letting go of what is not serving it. Leave one hand at your heart or both hands there as you move your awareness on this next inhale to your toes. Exhale to the throat. Inhale at the toes. Exhale at the third eye. Take a couple rounds of breath here at the third eye, waking to your intuition. Oftentimes we block what is uh, the internal messages, these intuition, intu intuitive messages that come from us when we're dealing with things outside our control. Wake it up, resonate there at the third eye. Wake it up, breathing in and out. And then when you're ready, move that inhale back down to your toes and let the exhale resonate here at the crown of your head. Bring your hands to your side, palms up, hand, backs of the hands rest into the earth and let everything settle. So that's a really simple exercise to get uh, a little bit grounded out of our heads, just noticing and acknowledging our body and the different joints or spaces in our body. Stay here, eyes closed for a few more moments. And actually you can stay here as I um, introduce you to a simple sort of mantra that I use when I'm feeling ungrounded or out of sorts. If your feet aren't planted on the ground, plant them there now, just simply bending your knees and planting your feet to the ground. You can bring your knees um, in together, fall together if that feels comfortable to you. Let your feet in all four corners of your feet, the base of your big toe, the base of your pinky toe and both sides of your heels rest into the earth. And here's the mantra, it just goes a little like this. I feel my feet planted on the ground. I'm grounded like a tree. I feel my feet planted on the ground. I'm rooted like a tree. I feel my feet planted on the ground. That's all I need to know. I feel my feet planted on the ground and whatever words serve you Chant them now to yourself or out loud. And the same thing can go with like, I feel my heart beating in my body. I feel my heart, any of those kinds of things. I feel my heart beating in my body. I feel my heart beating freely. I feel my heart tender and needing my attention. So along with acceptance comes acknowledgement. 
acknowledging what might feel out of balance helps us come into balance. Pause there now for at least five rounds of breath or just simply pause and rest. When you feel ready, soften your eyes open just enough. Keep your gaze or your awareness fairly inward. Let this still be the experience that's just for you. And come to a comfortable seat, however that might be. Let me um, not necessarily orchestrate it. I can make some suggestions. You can come back to that little lift with the blanket. If that feels good to you, if seated on the ground feels good to you or seated um, on your shins, do that. And then you can right away, as soon as you settle your sits bones or feel fairly comfortable with a fairly soft belly and an extended uh, extension of the crown of your head, nice broad collarbones. Hands can rest however you like. We're gonna use one hand in a moment. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bring your arms out to your side and then pull them in, elbows in, arms out, right? So we're gonna go, we're gonna do a little breath work here. It is a warming breath, also um, helps to remove those things that block us. And it's gonna go a little like this. All right, here we go. Big breath in. Try that one more time. Let your hands rest at your side. And let your breathing come back to its normal, natural rhythm. And then the next breath we're gonna do is called Nadi Shodhana. I'm gonna use my left hand, but you might wanna use your right depending on um, whether you're right or left-handed. So this breath can seem a little bit complicated. I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. And I like to close my eyes when I'm teaching it as well. You'll notice I close my eyes a lot to stay focused and inward. Um, and so you'll take, first of all, take a big breath in through your nose and a big breath out your nose. And if you need to, you might need to blow your nose. Take a moment and quickly do that. Otherwise, I want you to notice your thumb and your ring finger or your third, um, third finger. We're gonna use those uh, for a nostril uh, uh, containment or retainment. Okay, so breathe in and out through your nose. You're gonna close off with your thumb, one nostril. Uh, actually, sorry, start over. Breathe in, close off one nostril with your thumb, breathe out the open nostril. In through the open nostril, close it with your ring finger, breathe out. Breathe in, close, open the other side, breathe out. This time breathe in for the count of four, three, two, one. Close it off, breathe out the other side for four, three, two, one. In for four, three, two, one. Close it off and out for four, three, two, one, and in. If you wanna extend the breath or not count, that's fine too. You could extend it to six or eight. Keep it going now on your own. If you get mixed up, just simply start again. 
Basically, it's out one nostril. Inhale on the same nostril. Closing that off, pressing it to the other side. Keep that going for several more rounds of breath. Not being caught up in getting it right. Just focusing on the breath. You'll keep that going. And I'm gonna share a reading with you. Learn to release old toxins. Just as splinters can get embedded in our body, old emotions and beliefs can act like toxins and become embedded in us too. We may have picked up residue along the way, beliefs we didn't consciously choose, feelings we weren't safe enough to feel, toxins from the world around us. Now is the time of cleansing. Now is the time to heal your body and your emotions, your mind and your soul. What beliefs and emotions do you need to heal? Look around at your life right now. What are you thinking? What are you talking about? What issues are cropping up in your life? Who are you talking about? What are you remembering? Who has come back into your life? What hurts? What is feeling familiar? When have you felt it before? Once you've identified your feeling and thinking, release it. Let the energy go. Let it leave your body. You can chatter all you want about what's going on with you, but that doesn't release the energy from your system any more than talking about a splinter takes it out. Sometimes the process will sting just a bit when you pull out the splinter, but don't worry, it won't hurt for long. And soon you'll feel better than you felt in a long while. Often the process of releasing old toxins can be as gentle and natural as the way a flower or tree grows from sunshine and rain, a bit of fertile soil and a little pruning and weeding. Growth can be gentle now, growth can be fun. Breathe in new air, breathe in new energy, Exhale the past, its feelings, beliefs, and toxins. Let it go. Let yourself be transformed. Hold on to those memories that support you and keep you. If you've finished and um, you're just resting in a seated position, allow yourself to pause there. If you haven't finished, take that final exhale and come to a stillness, a still place. Hmm. It has been a divine and absolute pleasure to share this practice with you today. Um, from my heart to yours, namaste. Bye everybody. Thanks for sharing this practice with my four-legged friends. <laughs> Hope they didn't distract you too much. See you next time. <laughs>